a very warm greeting to all the learners this is dr minakshi and today i'm going to share one of my presentation on educational research with you in this presentation we are going to explore the concept scope purpose characteristics of educational research types and steps of educational research so first of all we will be discussing about the concept of educational research and for that purpose we really need to understand the basic what is education and what is research education as we all know is the process of aiding learning or acquisition of knowledge skill values beliefs and habits whereas research is basically in the title also suggest it is the searching of something which is already there it is search for the truth for the reason or discovery to new knowledge and when we combine these two education and research we will find educational research which is the scientific field of study that examines education and learning processes and the human attributes interactions organizations and institutions that shape educational outcomes also it refers to a systematic attempt to gain a better understanding of the educational processes generally with a view to improve its efficiency it is a systematic formal and intensive process of carrying on the scientific method of analysis now when we talk about the scope of educational research The essence of educational research varies with a gradual development occurring with respect to knowledge and technology. So educational research needs to extend its horizons. Being the scientific study of educational process, it involves institutions and individuals. When we say individuals, it comprises of students, teachers, educational administrators or managers, parents. And when we talk about institution, it is basically schools, colleges universities and research institutes so basically educational research discovers the facts and relationships in order to make educational process more effective when we are concerned with the scope of educational research it is basically understanding the classroom practices teaching learning methods and teacher pupil behavior because of that understanding we can determine what should and what should not be there in the teaching learning process cycle how can we improve the effectiveness of this teaching learning process second scope is to identify the gaps in the recent processes policies and programs so it's it's very important factor that we need to understand that the programs the policies they need to be revived as per the need of the child as per the changing society needs as per the changing education system so time to time this sort of educational research helps in understanding and identifying the gaps that the present policy or the program is having and improving based on those and the third and the final thing is evaluating the effectiveness of a particular program so it's a very important factor to understand a particular program or a policy which is already in progress whether it is able to fulfill its purpose or not whether it is apt to the need of the child to the need of the society and to the need of the basic education structure so evaluation is very important to understand where to improve what new things to add and what new concepts to be explored during this process of teaching learning exploration so this was about the scope of educational research now we'll talk about the purpose of educational research as we have already talked uh, that educational research is something which facilitates the teaching learning process it's it is something which adds to the existing stock of knowledge it is there to build a new knowledge regarding the methodology pedagogy or other core subject areas it also helps in for formulating the intervention of new teaching methods curriculum transactions strategies effective grouping techniques and many more things like that it also helps in realizing the exact problem of educational structure as we just talked in the previous slide that we get to understand what could be there in the classroom what could be modified what needs more of an approach or methodological improvement so it helps in realizing 
that exact problem in the educational sector and uh, because we are able to realize now uh, we'll be able to solve also because we knew the problem so we can solve it to solve a problem related to classroom institution administrative level policy level which level needs some uh, recommendation which needs some improvement it all is found with the help of educational research the researches which is undertaken to understand the problem in these basic areas now we talk about the next thing that is the characteristics of educational research so basically educational research uh, it's a very highly purposeful activity it deals with educational problems regarding students and teachers uh, it, it formulates it helps in formulation of objectives uh, it has a logical process and it el eliminates all the kind of personal biases a researcher could have. It helps in continuous inquiry and research of knowledge and also it directs towards the solution of a particular problem as we have been talking in the previous slides also that this sort of an educational research it empowers to form a better pedagogical a better teaching learning processes to make uh, teaching learning more fruitful and learner oriented now uh, there are different types of educational research as per the purpose and other things we are just going to discuss about basic research applied research and action research here basic research as a name might suggest here uh, it is focused primarily on the formulation of a theory or contribution to the existing body of knowledge right it is an investigation on basic principles and reasons for occurrence of a particular event or process or phenomena. It is also known as theoretical research. It is original or basic in character. It provides a systematic and deep insight into a problem and it facilitates extraction of scientific and logical explanation and conclusions on it. So basically we can say uh, the basic research which, which is also called as a pure research, fundamental research, theoretical research, it helps in building new frontiers of knowledge. Now coming to the second part that is the applied research it is conducted in order to determine how the laws of or the theories uh, formulated in the basic research uh, they, they operate in the classroom right. So in basic research the intent is to formulate a theory to understand the basic theoretical concepts and to build new frontiers of knowledge. Now in applied research what is happening we are going to check we are going to understand with the help of application mode in the classroom only to understand whether that specific theory whether that specific um, pedagogical uh, theory which we have formulated in the basic research is actually working in the classroom or is, is it facilitating the teacher and the student both in the classroom situations so in applied research the intent is to understand that thing now talking about the action research thing it is focused on the solution of an immediate problem and not on the development of any theory or uh, on finding out the application part of that theory so i'll just give you an example about the action research for example in a classroom for uh, say six standard students the teacher is very concerned about the achievement level of students in english language uh, english subject so the achievement scores of the students in the classroom for English language they are not uh, remarkable now the problem here is why the students are not able to achieve well in the learning process of English language so here the teacher will try to formulate a, a, a problem here on this note and he, uh, the teacher will try to understand why this thing is happening and for that purpose the teacher will try to explore different things uh, whether the teaching method is not apt for the students or the students are finding the content very difficult or it's not at all interesting or is it something related to the specific subject or to the all subjects so he'll uh, also uh, discuss the same problem with other teachers also so this kind of a problem solving approach which a teacher have in the classroom for an immediate problem it falls under the head of an action research area so in action research the intent of the teacher is to find out the solution of a immediate problem which is in the classroom and try to explore that problem in the classroom and find the solution on the spot kind of a thing 
right so this was all about the three types of research educational research basic which we also call fundamental pure or the theoretical research then applied research and action research now we have steps of educational research now as such i was talking um, about action research and how a teacher is going to understand and uh, work uh, work out that problem so this these are the steps of educational research process here and let's take that example back here and try to understand the steps of educational research so first thing is first step is selection of a research problem if we take back that example uh, from action research the teacher will select a research problem so what is the research problem with the teacher here is uh, the academic achievement score of students for english language uh, uh, are are not as per the set learning outcome or the set learning objective so the problem could be like um, the impact of a specific teaching method on the achievement level of six class six class students or six grade students for english teaching learning process right so here he will try to explore that problem more and more what could be the reasons whether i am not able to uh, deliver in a certain manner or the students are not familiar with a certain certain specific methodology or is trying to explore everything so for that purpose he'll switch to the second step that is the formulation of objectives research questions and hypothesis now what here uh, the teacher will try to do formulation of objectives he'll try to formulate an objective what he wa want to find out from this research that is to find out uh, whether lecture method for example if i'm saying lecture method is apt for um, improving the achievement score of the students or uh, activity method or problem solving method any other method the teacher wants to opt for uh, the solution of the specific problem so he'll formulate some objective some research questions will be formed some hypothesis will be created for example uh, language learning from language laboratory generates better achievement scores as compared to the conventional lecture method so he could formulate an hypothesis there is a significant difference between the achievement scores of six class students of language le learning group or lecture method group something like that i'm just formulating a hypothesis an exemplary for you then we switch to the research methodology part the third step in the research methodology basically comes the research design what kind of uh, research we are going to take uh, first what will be the sample for which we are going to take this research problem what kind of uh, tools will be using whether there will be some tests or there will be some already standardized formulated tests to check the achievement level of students or something uh, whether it will be a questionnaire interview whatever the teacher wants to or the researcher wants to use here uh, then we'll talk about uh, which tools the researcher is going to use for the analysis and interpretation of data right what statistical techniques will be used in there right what could be the procedure in this research uh, which the teacher or the researcher is going to pursue then comes the data collection in data collection basically the researcher or the teacher comes in direct contact with the sample and with the help of the tool assisted or assigned they try to understand their patterns and they collect their responses in the form of interviews in the form of responses for a questionnaire in the form of uh, responses to a basic tool or an activity after the data collection the next step is analysis and interpretation of data in analysis and interpretation of data the researcher or, or the teacher they try to interpret the data patterns given by the students or the samples and based on those analysis and interpretation they try to formulate the results they try to draw up the conclusions and understand the basic results which actually deals with all deals with all the variables used in the research then final in the last thing is reporting the results the results that they have found out from analysis and interpretation of data they finally try to report the results in the form of conclusions or discussions and this way the, these uh, steps actually facilitates the educational research right so 
this was a mere attempt to make you uh, familiar with what is educational research what is the characteristics of educational research the purpose and basically uh, what we can say the uh, types and steps of educational research hope this session have been very fruitful for you and uh, we'll be looking forward for some more such such educational videos and sharing a learning experience. Thank you and have a great time.